Hey guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery of Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Okay, so I have a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Okay, so I'm so excited. So I tried to, um, I have nails that have um, flowers and blue to kind of like represent like the sky, and there's some flowers in there. Um, and they're like prettyish pinkish it looks like from the picture so maybe that'll help you before we get into it and see what we've got um but i'm super excited super excited so i will show you that this is a square and you can tell that because of this bluish purple uh line here um so let's get into it and see what i've got now i know that i'm not filming um my sneak peek at my other location I don't have access to it right now so um, you know hopefully we will be able to see uh, as much as I can um, for you okay Woo -hoo -hoo. big box big box so I'll go ahead and show you the picture of the thumbnail so this is what I have. Aveline, Mother of the Woodlands by Cheryl Baker. It's square. It is a 65 by 83. Look how beautiful. See those, they look kind of pinkish, right? And you've got the blue sky. So I just, I kind of figured these went with it. But is that not beautiful? I cannot wait to get in here and see what it looks. Now I usually take this sticker um, and because I store my canvases back in their box. Um, so I take and put this on the outside of the box so that as I stack them up, I can just look on the side of the box and see what painting that I have. Um, that's just, it's super helpful for me to be able to find. And we have our toolkit. Okay, so I'm just kind of curious what, what color pen I have uh, and what, uh, what cover minder that I have. So, just show you the toolkit really quick. Oh, okay. I have, oh, this is kind of neat. So, I have a white dish, and it is a sparkly pen, and it has a red squishy. Oh, that's pretty. So, red and white. That's pretty. I like that. And then I do have the clear tray, and um, it's, this one is see-through with the sparkles still in it. And it does come with a stopper so that you can put it in there. You have two multi-placers, which are four-placer, thin four-placer, and thin seven-placer. I love those. You have a bag of baggies. Now, it's not enough to kit up your whole kit, but it is helpful for storing, like, extra drills or whatever. You have your heart wax, which I opened upside down. <laughs> you have a little heart wax and a little caddy. This does have a plastic sheet on the front and back so you'll just need to kind of peel that off so that you can get to your wax you have washi tape oh y'all look at this washi tape this one is so pretty oh i love that one and then you have a cover minder oh my gosh i don't i have like i think i have like a i have a clearish one and i think i have a a bluish one and now i have a yellow Look how sparkly that is. Oh my God, I absolutely love that. And because this is a square, you do get the Stabby McStabberson tweezers. These are very sharp, so you do want to keep your sheath on it. But I use tweezers when I diamond paint with squares. I don't actually use a pen. So I love that every time that I have a square painting from Diamond Art Club, I have tweezers you know because i go i go through my tweezers sometimes sometimes i can get a little rough with my tweezers and i just need a little bit <laughs> uh i just need another one um and i also use these tweezers when i work on my miniatures okay so okay well i had already filmed part of this and uh somehow <laughs> it kind of uh, stopped filming and did not keep the the film part so we're gonna we're gonna try this again. <laughs> um, I did go ahead and unroll it uh, so that it could start getting flat. Um, this is the pamphlet that comes with uh, any of your kits, and it gives you what's included in your kit, 
tips and tricks, a thank you code. If you've never diamond painted before, there is a QR code to help you with a video, plus there's step-by-step -step instructions. Um, once you have um, gone to Diamond Art Club, you do have um, a way to get into the VIP Facebook group, which is really awesome. Um, and there's also a QR code for the app. You can, you can actually save money going through the app. And Diamond Art Club doesn't want you to ever pay full price for any of their paintings. If it's your very first time ever purchasing from Diamond Art Club, they have affiliates that you can use their code. Um, and once you've ordered your very first diamond painting, you get this, which has a discount, 10% discount code on it. You have a shipping uh, label inside that also has, or a packing slip that has um, a discount code on it. Uh, you have a code on your canvas. And on your box is a QR code also for percent off. And if you do join the app the very first time that you make a purchase through the app, you get a percentage there. Plus, they're always doing pretty cool um, sales and discounts and everything there. So this is our big sticker sheet. This is the one that I put in my uh, logbook. So it has your the title of the canvas, your um, your artist. Here you can put your start and your end date. You've got a bigger picture of it. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Um, and these right here, everything here is a sticker. These are where you can just peel them off. You don't have to cut or anything. So there are 59 colors in this. Oh my God. And of the 59, so if you see with Diamond Art Club, if you see the number is under the number 150, it is an AB. Okay. And so we have one, two, three we have three ab's in this kit looks like a light green a green and a blue so i'm kind of curious as to where all of those are so oh my gosh okay so i'm going to turn it over like i said i know that this um placement on my desk will not show you the entire canvas um but what i'm going to do is i am going to try to insert a picture of where I fly over the canvas and then try to back out so you could see the whole thing at once. And I will try to put that in right here. All right, so here is a flyover as we are looking. Oh, look how beautiful she is. <gasps> Oh, look at these colors. Now, they're not super bright, but they are very, they're very woodsy, you know? And so if you have a natural, um, where you don't have a ton of bright colors in your house, this will really go well. Oh, look at her. I just, I love, I love these feathers. <gasps> oh, and just, just look at this bark of the tree. And look, you can see her talons right there. Oh my gosh. Just look at those flowers too. See, now you know why I kind of got a little bit of flower going on here. But I love this. All right, so I'm going to zoom you out so you can see there she is in all of her glory. All right, so let's go back to the video and get a closer so, look. We're back. Now that we have... We've looked at, you know, like each thing individually. Now I kind of want to look and see, um, after we look at the drills, I want to look and see where all of our um, ABs are. So we're going to get into the drill. So I'm just going to turn this back over. This beautiful girl back over. And we're going to get into <laughs> the drills. Okay. So, one thing about their drills is that they do put the name of your painting right here on a sticker so that if you store your drills separately from your canvas, then you always know which canvas these drills go to. All right, so you ready to go down to Crinkle Town? Let's go. I'm going to go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, my goodness. So many drills. And, 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 I, and I'm knocking stuff off. Whoopsie. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna head straight to this one right here. So we have 
Oh, and okay. So you're gonna have to trust me on the name because the light is a little bright, so therefore you can't really see too much. But 936, 434, 934, pretty. Uh, brown 310 so we've got one two okay so there's only two three tens 3371 which is that it's a dark dark like chocolate brown so we have one two three of those and we have this is going to have a lot of browns guys because it isn't a tree and it is an owl so we have two of the 433s we have two of the 938 we have 937 green, two of the 898 browns, two of the 469 greens. We have uh, 3860, which is like a, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a mauve-ish brown. 3811, which is this really pretty, like, bluish, uh, which is probably in the sky. 644 beige. All right. So now we're going to get into this train, which is, whoops. well, you know, it would help if I had them in the right direction where I could read them. <laughs> so now we have some blues from our sky. So we have two of the 775s. We have one, two, oh, wait, one, two, three, four of this 3756 light blue sky color. <gasps> Then we have one, two, three, four of three eight six five, which is it's not quite white. It's like a it's like a cream white, so it's not that stark, you know, color. Then we have four seventy one green. Here's another beige, just light, 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 light beige. Seven twelve. Ooh, here is our first A B. <gasps> Oh, this is 106, and I'm really hoping that you can see a little bit of what I mean with AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and what it means is it has this iridescent coating on the top so that when the light hits it, it shines these different colors, and it makes the drills around it sparkle, too. That's a that's a fairly mount, good, large, if I can talk, it's a fairly large amount of them. Then we have some gray. We have 647. We have two of those. We have a, mm, mm, I don't know, like in between brown and gray, 640, another taupe, 648, um, a roses taupe, 3861, all right, so there's that train, yeah. all right, I see some more pretty sparklies in this one, pretty sparklies, so we have 644 tote. We have two of the 779 browns. Here's another bright green, like a chartreuse, 472. We have 524 green. Okay. Oh my. <gasps> yes. Okay. Okay. So we have two bags of this 108 AB, the green AB. Oh my God. That means you know we've got quite a bit in the painting. Yes. Thank you, Diamond Art Club. Thank you. Oh, I love babies. Whew. Then we have two of the 646 brown, one for 13, which is a dark gray. Here's like a purplish color, 3740, 3041. We have 3799, another like gray, dark gray. 3787, a mix between gray and brown. 741 brown. Here's like a terracotta, 356. 435 pretty brown here's a pinkish 3778 a little bit more pink uh like a almost a reddish like a brick almost 3830 and this is a really dark green 935 okay so i believe we are down to the last train we're down to the baby train so we have 3772 758 754 peach so here is pink pink. Well, like a not quite baby pink. It's a little bit darker than that. 3689. Here's a little bit more of a baby pink. 963. More of that brick color. 355. We have 772. Mint. Ooh, bright. 3801. Here's like lipstick color mauve. 3726. 317 gray. All right. So 139. This is your last AB. Which there's not a lot of it. So I'm probably thinking that this one's going to be in the owl. Um, so that's your last AB. Then you have 414 gray. 
150 like a bright reddish 327 purple 3836 purple pink 893 you have a little bit of yellow yellow orange 3854 uh brick 3777 very little bit of this pink and tiny bit of that blue oh my gosh okay so we got to see where where do these ABs go, y'all? Where do they go? Like, I'm also looking at this going, where in the world? <gasps> okay, so you know that bright blue? That bright blue has got to be in the eyes. It's got to be. It's the only place I can see bright blue at. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of point out where the ABs are um, in the top part. And then I will look, then we'll look at the bottom part. Okay. So, we have three of them. So, that creamish color. Where is that creamish color? Oh, my gosh, y'all. It is all that in the sky. Like, all here. Like, this whole patch. No, sorry. That's not. Look, see, my old eyes. My old eyes deceived me. Sorry. My bad. We do have some um, in the... This is a Celtic heart, and so we have some outlining the highlights of the Celtic heart. See, the ones just, I got all excited. I thought it was, but it's not. Those are the ones right there. There's a little bit here in the bouquet part. Um, okay, so there's highlights going throughout her headdress that are ones. See, like all this, 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 all of those are going out there, are ones. You have ones that are the highlights of her face. Those are ones. You have ones that are these curly Q symbols in her scarf um, or shawl. I guess that's a shawl technically, not a scarf. Um, but you do have ones all in these little curly cues right there. Um, that is really, really pretty. Okay. And I'm going to move it down just a little bit because I know you won't be able to see it. There's also some coming uh, down here on her, her feathers a little bit. Okay. So now let's look for the greens. Because, you know, that green, that had a lot. That had a lot. So, Okay. You have twos going, they're going all throughout, all throughout the leaves. So almost, almost every leaf has some of that two in it. Uh, let's see if there's some in her headdress. Yep, there is some in her headdress right here. And here, here. Do we have a little bit of, okay, there's a tiny bit of twos. There's twos going in the foliage here. So it looks like every place that we have flower, or not flowers, leaves, there are twos. Because there's twos going throughout all of these. And we have twos in here in her shawl. You know, because the shawl is representing like, like leaves, right? So it's in there. All right, so now let's look, and like I said, we'll look at the bottom in just a minute. The grays, there's not very many of the threes, and I believe I have found where they're at. So, I don't know if there's any, because there's so few of them. There's a little bit in the moon. This is a moon symbol, okay? Um, and there is a little bit going throughout that moon symbol, um, and then, of course, in this pine cone. Um, and I'll tell you right now, one of the things that really drew me to this picture is the symbolism. Um, you know, you have a Celtic heart right here, which is, is made up of a, a Celtic knot, but in the shape of a heart. And you also have another, looks like Celtic symbol here. And then this is a moon, um, you know, the, the uh, Celtic from Ireland and all of that. But... Um, and my daughter is, her wedding is a Celtic wedding, so I'm going to have to fight her for this one, but this is mine, because this is mother. This is mother, <laughs> Adeline mother, so, you know, that means it's got to stay with me, mother of the woodlands, that's me. 
All right, so now let's look at the bottom part of this. So we already saw that we have ones going here. Um, there are also ones going through uh, right a little bit highlighting here in the flower and a little bit here. Some more in these, this flower, just kind of like the little veins, little highlights, uh, a little bit in this one. Um, I don't, oh, there's a little, there's a little bit in the, the tree. And I do love that this tree has this pinkish, pinkish glow to it. Um, and of course, we have more leaves, so we have more of that green AB in there. Uh, and there's a little bit in the talons of that gray AB. So, oh my gosh, y'all, this one is going to be so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, I absolutely love this love it. Now, I do know that there is a companion piece to this one that Diamond Art Club already has um, and it's the, the male owl. Um, and so, like, if you're interested in being able to get you know, companion pieces to, to be able to match them up, you know, this would be, this would be a perfect, perfect one. Oh, I am, oh, thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. I do want to get you into the drill field though, so I'm going to pull this back and I'm going to bring this up so that you can see. Look how clear those symbols are and oh, the sparkle, y'all, this sparkle canvas. I just... I love it. And I never have any issues with how clear the symbols are from Diamond Art Club. Like, at all. Like, look at those. So easy to see. So easy to work with. And, of course, their canvas is always sticky. And if you ever see um, wrinkles in your canvas, it's not the canvas, y'all. It's just this plastic. You know, when you pull the plastic back, and you smooth it back down, it takes those right out because this is poured glue, so it's very, very, very difficult to get um, bubbles and wrinkles in the glue itself. Um, it's very sturdy. Oh, I am so excited about this um, image. I'm so excited that I got a chance to show you guys. So, uh, and of course, I already, editing me, already put, because <laughs> I kind of forgot to say it, Editing Me had put uh, up in uh, on the screen when this is this is going to be released on Saturday, and I'm also going to put it here again for a second time so that you know you have it just in case. Um, it's going to be released this Saturday. If you are a Diamond or Ruby member, then um, it will go live. You'll be able to see it on the site. Uh, you'll get your email or whatever um, at nine. A.M. Pacific Standard Time, 12 on, um, I think it's Eastern Standard Time. Then, uh, so Pacific and then Eastern. Then, uh, 30 minutes later, general public has an opportunity to go in and purchase. So that's at 9.30 and then 12.30. So you want to make sure that if you want this beauty go in and go get it because you never know how fast these are going to sell out and how much that they have and this one is beautiful if you are one that really loves like um different types of flowers and foliage and like nature if you love owls because oh my gosh look at that gorgeous face right just look at that then this is one that you are going to want to have in your stash all right, so that's all that I have to show you. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, I would greatly appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Put in the comments, tell me what kind of forest animal is your favorite. I, I do love owls. I do love them. We have them all around here in our yards and everything, or in our trees. Um, and, you know, if you've not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of my crazy family. Um, I, we try to have fun here, and I love interacting with all you guys. Just make sure that you hit that bell notification 
so that you know for all notifications that way you know any time that I upload a video or any time that I go live because I love being able to talk to you guys and I hope that you'll want to come and spend some time with me um, all right so I'm gonna leave you like I always do reach for the stars grab hold hold on and never let go until my next video bye guys <laughs>